What happens when we accelerate a candy cane to over 300 miles an hour? We're going to find out in just a moment. Now, you might be wondering how we're going to do it. Well, we're going to do it with this thing behind me. This thing we call the pencil accelerator. Right now, I'm going to load the candy cane in the end. It's traveling at zero miles per hour, not moving. In a moment, we're going to use compressed gas in this tank here to push on it. It's going to travel along the 10-foot tube until it gets to the end. At the end, we've got a piece of wood. The piece of wood, well, it's not moving either. But at the end of the tube, our candy cane is going to be traveling at 300 miles an hour. It's going to run in the piece of wood. And let's see what happens. OK. Three, two, one. Awesome. Wow. Look at that. What we've just witnessed is force equals mass times acceleration. The candy cane was a small mass, but we accelerated to a huge amount and got a big force out of it. Wow. Now, you can look for force equals mass times acceleration in your everyday life. What small objects do you see moving quickly around you?